Hey everyone, Rick here, and what you're looking at are four Battle Foam Black Label Sirocco cases. Now these are the smallest of the Black Label hard shell cases from Battle Foam, and I cannot wait to show you guys how absolutely amazing these are. Now first, let's see, why do we need four cases. Well, the figures that have been occupying the center of my kitchen island for a while now. Painted figures that I commissioned from alternative armies. Check the link in the description for these guys. Now, I am in love with their historic and fantasy 15 millimeter range figures. They manufacture these bad boys. Not only that, but they will paint them for you as well, of course, at an additional fee. So, I commissioned four armies. Now, these are in distinct colors, you might notice. So, we have red, yellow, green, and blue with some terrain, monsters, yeah, even some crops. This is for just a little game that I developed called Warriors of Mana. Oh yeah, we are absolutely dedicated to constantly innovating the miniatures battle game field. Now, with each of these armies, I don't want to have to t lug a huge case with me everywhere I go. So if someone wants to play a game, I can just bring a couple armies with me, not the whole thing. Let's actually start here. I had a whole video when I got this recorded and ready to go about this time last year. This is the Battle Foam Black Label Tripoli. This is the second largest hard shell black label case from Battle Foam. It's got four gigantic clipping locks on it it absolutely has these you know where you can stick a lock in there as well to keep it safely protected not only that but this guy holds a ton of figures and this was when i came up with a game of a little about this time last year of arrows and blades note to self make sure you get the name right on the foam when you have these custom printed. So, the Tripoli model that I got last year holds all of my of Arrows and Blades figures. Now, this was the first time that I ever used their custom foam creator. And so I was definitely a bit generous with the spacing on these guys. I did not properly measure them. This has absolutely worked fine despite the fact that they are free to move about their little spaces. This time, with these guys, it'll be much more snug. But this, just to give you an idea of just how many figures you can fit in here. I mean, this is nuts. Are you kidding me? I didn't end up posting the video that I took last year. I don't know if I just... Oh, lost my enthusiasm or what? But I have a huge bottom tray. Now, these are the Tripoli e half foam trays. And why did I do these half size? Because you can get a foam tray that spans the entire length of one of these cases. But I like the idea of the half trays so you can just lift out each tray and, you know, leave the other side over there. But also, these are all metal figures. These are also, I can't even remember if I did a video on these or not. This was another commission that I had from Alternative Armies and more of their 15 millimeter figures. And they're all metal. So half trays just make sense just because of the weight. The This is like a, spacer so that fits in there and the reason for that is you'll also notice this has wheels on it just like luggage and a handle that'll pull out and it rolls around fantastically this bottom tray 
And go online and find out what the dimensions are because this is not a sales pitch. I can't remember for the life of me how deep and how what the actual total volume of foam this will hold. But look at that. That's absolutely insane. But look how perfect like these houses fit. Oh, that was absolutely awesome. Look at that little house. Oh, fantastic. So I named all the trays monsters, cavalry. There's infantry there as well. But this is a big, thick tray. I don't know, maybe three inches. Is that three inches? Um, and so I do one of those. I have a whole thing of walls. So just more terrain, of course. But the bottom line here is this worked out really well. This was my first foray into battle foam custom foam trays because I had a ton of these 15 millimeter infantry cavalry and it all worked out fantastically despite the fact that I made at least some of these spaces far too big for their figures. All right, boom, that was, that's 2018. Let's jump ahead. Folks, this is 2019, almost 2020. These are the Battle Foam Black Label Sirocco cases. Oh, these are so nice. Are you kidding me? First of all, just take a look at how handsome this case is. Holding on to it, as you can see on my hand, it is not very big, just a little over the size of, I don't even know what you would compare this to, a lunchbox maybe. It has the Battle Foam sticker on the bottom and also on the top. The fantastic thing about these cases is that they stack. So you can absolutely put them on something like that and wheel them around and yeah, that is just gorgeous. Are these not fantastic? And they stack because of the feet fit right into the gridding on the top. And then pop, pop, two locks on these. But they also do have the holes on either side for actual locks. Boom. All right, let's take a look at this. First of all, I did custom toppers on each of these. Just, and they can do custom logos as well. Just upload a picture and they'll cut it into the foam. This was just a super, because I just found out about that as I was about ready to check out. I saw this custom foam topper. I was like, are you kidding me? That is absolutely awesome. So I did a Warriors of Mana, just real quick logo. Wasn't even sure how it would turn out, but... That is just so awesome. And then I have the name there, Warriors of Mana. This is the entire case for the Woodland Guard. Oh, yeah, that's right. All these little guys here. The militia, the ranged infantry, the melee infantry, the ranged cavalry, the melee cavalry, and, of course, not only their warlord, but also their standard bearer with the most adorable pine tree on a flag that I've ever seen. So that army will go in here. Oh, that's right. So we have the custom topper. Then we have tray one. Again, they all have the name of the army and the game on there. Boom. Bigger spaces for the cavalry. Let's take a Let's do a little test right now and see, because I actually measured these out so that it would be perfect. Is that not just awesome? Perfect width of the base, just about right to the top of the lance. Oh, I love it. Okay, so there is tray one. This is tray two. These are all one by one cutouts. And if you take a look, all these armies all these boxes are going to be different because the figure sizes are going to be different. So, oh my gosh, it took me forever to plan out. This is just a screenshot I took because I thought it was hilarious. I wanted to share it with everyone. How insane it was mapping out all of these. These are, you know, an inch and a quarter by an inch and three quarters, blah, blah, blah all through the trays. Now this tray up here, I did the same times four because that's the bottom tray. So after tray two, oh yeah, there is a two inch. That is two inches. So that bottom tray and that triple must have been two inches because I think that was about the same size. Look how thick that is. You'd think that'd be more. No, that's just two inches 
Boom, Warriors of Mana, Woodland Guard. So this is the same bottom tray in each of these. And so that's two inches. These Sirocco cases can hold five inches of foam. And so there's two, there's three, there's four. But you have to account for this bottom part because the inch is only this top foam. This harder yet still soft bottom layer is what, about a quarter of an inch. So you times that by four because you have the two inches and a quarter here, you have an inch and a quarter there, you have an inch and a quarter there, and a quarter foam topper, that is an even five inches. If I'm doing my math right on that, I almost thought it was a, a third of an inch. But uh, anyways, definitely double check your math when you do these custom foam cases. But oh my gosh, is that not just absolutely perfect? So why did I make this bottom tray like this? Well, let's take a closer look. Let's start putting some things in here and see how it all fits. All right, so the bottom layer is going to hold basically the identical supplies in each army. You are going to have space for notepads and pens. You are going to have a space for a cube of your army's color of dice. You're going to have a space for your army's color of activation tokens. And then you're going to have some of the same spawning monsters because obviously you're going to be a wizard spawning these crazy creepy things like this sphinx with huge breasts are you kidding me look at all the skulls all right boom right in there how about a cockatrice oh yeah and maybe even a minotaur that's right and then a couple spaces here and here for some more summons, but that is why the bottom tray is equal across the board. All right, folks, and the final moment, the moment that I've been waiting for to see if an entire army will fit in here. It is about 60 figures, actually maybe a little over 60. So here we go. This is the Woodland Guard, Warriors of Mana. Boom. All right, so 10 militia, 10 ranged infantry, 10 melee infantry, 10 skeletons because as your wizard wanders the battlefield it's important that you leave casualties on the battlefield in warriors of mana because your wizard can necromance fallen soldiers friend and foe alike so you're going to need some skeletons to represent the raised dead and then here we go cavalry we have the 10 melee cavalry the 10 range cavalry as well as the standard bearer the Warlord, and oh yeah, the Wizard. And rounding it out is that identical bottom tray, and I did fill in the last two spaces. The other two summons is a Goblin as well as a Lizard Man. All right, that is it. Oh my gosh, it is so perfect. Now, boom, you've got your entire army right here. Battle Foam, Black Label, Sirocco Case. Oh my gosh, it is absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to box up the rest of these and finally get my Kitchen Island back. Thank you folks all so much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And until next time.